Okay, so here's the front door removal on the 5th Gen 4Runner. The only tools you're going to need, panel removal tool and a Phillips screwdriver. If you don't have a panel removal tool, a flathead screwdriver will work just as well, but you may scratch your plastic. So now the very first step, so you don't forget it, is to take off your mirror cap. And how you're going to do that is just simply put your hands near your window portion and just pull towards you. Now getting into the door, you have three spots that hold it in. Here, here, and in here. This is where your removal tool comes in handy. And they just stay like that. And now the trickier one of the bunch, just have to kind of put it in right here, like right where the lock is at. So as you can see, that reveals one screw. You have one screw here and then one down at the bottom. Now just go ahead and take your Phillips screwdriver. Okay, once you have all three screws out and you have, and remember, step number one, take that out. You're gonna start from the bottom of the door. Now you're gonna hear popping and cracking and everything like that, don't worry about it. It's just the plastic releasing from the door. So basically, once you have all of the bottom undone, just kind of hang out at the top, let the door rest on the window seal area because there's very important cables underneath of the door that you do not want to break. So now you can see that the door is nice and uh, loose. What you're gonna do is just lift up on it, separating it from this seal area, and then kind of hold it like four inches or so away from the window because we have to undo the door handle back there, the locking mechanism, and the wiring that's going into the door. Wait a little bit. There you go. Now it's loose. Now again, don't just yank your door away because there's important wires in here that you need to take care of. Okay, so when it comes off, you're gonna see this. These are these wires that I was talking about. You have this one right here that you can just disconnect like so. One more down at the bottom for your light. These are for your lock and unlock. The top one is a hard cable that you do not want to mess up. If it's in a tricky position for you, you can move the lock lever like around to try to make it easier for yourself. And it's gonna be kind of greasy, but what you want to do is just basically lift this ball out of that area and you can pull this forward as well and then just wiggle that ball out of the little plastic there like so so that's out so remember the hard line one is on the top for your lock and then down here at the bottom one all you do is just pull out and that's on your door handle and that comes out as well be very very careful with these guys you do not want to break these installation is the exact same for them just kind of wiggle them around and then they pop pop into their little placeholders right there and then that's your last one right there for your light okay and just like that the door panel is off go back to your vehicle and make sure that you have all of these little plastic white pieces right here because if you can tell there's an open circle there's an open circle oh there's a plastic piece there's a plastic piece those plastic pieces are supposed to go into here like so for when you install the door back on it's just reverse order plug everything in and i don't know how well the camera's going to get this but just be careful with these the lock and the door handle one again so just if you have to move around the lock move around the door handle set it inside and make sure that the white tab like right there in the middle you could kind of see how there's a little indentation there make sure that pops you know inside the door and secures itself plug together all your harnesses put your dirty lock in what you want to hear is this that nice snap at the end make sure it's all the way in there same with the door handle all the way in there so now where it's different 
when you're installing it back is you want to make sure that the ledge of the channel up here in between your window, it's like this nice little thin part, there's a little lip if you look on the back side of this, there's a little lip and that has to set itself first. So just do it from the top down to the bottom and you can see like the door wants to kind of pull itself away. Just make sure you line it all up and this is where it starts to take a while. That's that <laughs> and it's on so I guess you just have to complain about it for a little bit and then just follow your way down listen for any like tuh, 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 like little things falling because if something does then that's those little white clamps and that will forever rattle in your door so then you have to take the dang door off again and do it again like I did a thousand times with the back door but other than that it's nice and installed and you have that nice trim back with your weather stripping where your window goes. So then after that, just put in the three screws and you're done. It is a pain in the butt, be very patient with it. Have like a nice water bottle like filled up halfway that you can throw across your garage. Like don't break any of your crap. So just do that, just be patient with it and it should just snap into place. So if this video was helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more Toyota stuff, continue to follow in the playlist if uh, this isn't your last video and I will catch you guys in the next one. Alright, see you later. Thank you.